Hey guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. Woohoo! We're back after a month and a half with a new video. Woo! She has eyelash extensions. My eye bags have gotten deeper, but we're back. We're back, you guys. So today we're actually going to be doing a dupes video. Mm -hmm. Full face. So Full we're actually going to be doing our face. Face of um, dupes that we've gathered and you're going to be surprised. You can either be balling on a budget or splurge. So, so in today's video we're going to start with eyes first. Or actually eyebrows. 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 So in today's video, a dupes for the precisely my brow pencil let's see if you can you see it there you go for that one is the wet and wild ultimate brow micro brow pencil Woohoo! excuse me focus. please focus there we go there we go so the their colors i think are in brown What's yeah, mine is brunette and yours mine is 3.5. So, I don't need to do around. We've been on a mission to get our lives together. Not really. But look, it has a spoolie. I didn't even think it would have a spoolie. This is 2019, girl. Everything has a spoolie. <laughs> I don't know what the times. I don't know what date is anymore. So, sister has been working, and I started school again. Yeah. Marvelous, marvelous school. I'm never home. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys want to see um, a video of our, technically not of our, actually I'm the only one who went on vacation to Greece. If you guys want to see a video of like my journey through what I did, uh, leave a, a comment down below. Let us know if you want to see a mini like video collage of what I did. Well, I, um, I can say that the Wet n Wild is very pigmented. Um, I guess the only thing that I would have to complain about is that the actual tip isn't um, kind of pointed. It's in this kind of weird circle-y thing. So. No, but it, it, so is this one. See? Yeah, but that one's more slim. We well, they actually look the same. Yeah. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. I mean, I have pretty full brows, so... It's just filling in the sparse areas. <laughs> so stop complaining, full brows. They're the same, basically. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same. No, so if you're balling on a budget or you want to be cheap like I am, get the wind wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to prime eyeballs, what do you use? Concealer. Use, yeah. All right. So a dupe of 2019 for the shape tape, tart shape tape, which is I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of this. Tart shape tape is quite famous. It's actually one of the best concealers out there. Um, we have a dupe. We found a dupe. Which is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. concealer. Stop focusing on her. There we go. <laughs> or. Or the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. These are all my sisters, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're gonna use this to prime our lids as well as to um conceal later on so you guys we will show you yeah so i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible on the right hand side of my face which would be your left look at you giving them <laughs> and <laughs> alternates okay <laughs> then i'm gonna use the camel concealer on my lift which would be your right I haven't done a full glam Blended. day since I've gotten back, which is really hard. I don't know why, but... And I've been over here actually wearing makeup. Yeah. Things are changing, guys. Weird. So, for eyeshadow, we have dupes, you guys. Mm -hmm. So, for the Urban Decay Born to Run, you can see here, and then this is the palette. These are the shadows, very beautiful shadows. And then she's going to show you All the right. dupe. The dupe is the C Color Around the World palette. This it can be found on Amazon. Yep. The exact Pretty much same. the same palette. For half, like more than half the price. Like, I kid you not. Like, it's the same exact palette. And we're going to show you that you can create the same look. For less. For less, basically. 
Alrighty, so today we're actually going to be going towards like a purpley eyeshadow look. I'm just going to run a little bit of this beigey color called the Weekender, which is here at the top, right here, yeah, right here. Um, and I'm just going to run that to set that concealer because I, I'm just one of those people I have to set the concealer. I don't set. She doesn't set. Right, we're going to start with a sh the shade oh called... Do these even have names? Does no, they don't have, have names. names. Sorry. I okay. will let you know which one it is. <laughs> so it's this shade called Baja right here. This one right here. And it's the same on her end. It just doesn't have a name. Yeah, it doesn't have a name. It's nameless. We're just going to call it Mars because <laughs> it looks like the color of Mars. I'm just gonna start buffing that in into our crease. I'm like, I'm just, I like to build color before just like packing it on. Just because, I don't know, I'm a weirdo. I need to like lay it out. This is super pigmented. Do you see this? Look at that. It looks the same. Look, like show the people. Same. <laughs> We're there ranking it. C color palette. There's a lot of fallout. But so is on the Urban Decay, so I'm just like, I don't understand. I don't mind Fallout, it's fine. I'm just saying, for all those people who, you know, don't like Fallout, this has Fallout. It looks literally the same. Exactly the same. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And we have this funky background because it's still pretty much summer here in LA. So, mm -hmm. by the way, I have no Fallout in my under eyes. So... I'm not mad at this palette. I actually like this palette because, as you can see, if I showed it to you, it's well used. I really do like this palette because it has a little bit of everything. Let me tell you guys, she has a whole collection of makeup. I don't know where she's going to put it when it starts to grow even more. Like, literally, these palettes are hers. Yes. My makeup collection can fit into one little box. <laughs> You're welcome. Next shadow. We're gonna go to Hellride, which is this purple right here. Um, focus these right there. This one right here. And we're just gonna create a halo eye, so we're gonna show you how that is done. I'm gonna use the same brush. And I'm gonna go into that purple one that she just described. And hopefully this halo eye turns out okay. If not, we're sorry. If you don't like the color. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much what I do when I do my halo eyes is I pack it, the color in the inner corner, outer corner, and then blend it towards the middle. That's what a halo eye is. Basically, you're just going to spotlight the middle with a shimmer, which is what we're going to do and we're going to show you later. But yeah, we basically just pack the color right here in the center. Not in the center, actually in, the, in your inner corner, just like how she said, and then pack it at the outer. So it's going to look a little weird like this gonna look a little weird but that's fine that's why you blend it out it out okay so not just because to diffuse the harsh line of the purple so as you can see I mean my sister's blending her life away so if you can see here I'm still just using a transition shade just to go over this harsh line now I'm just blending it away she's like I'm just gonna blend I'm like, bland, bland, bland. I mean, we both have different techniques here. It's not the same. Yes, halo eyes take a while because you have to make sure everything is blended and cohesive. It's not very easy. But you'll see. It's well, a pretty effect. It depends on what color you're using. These colors are really harsh, so you have to make sure that they're Yeah, because purple is more of a flush tone. like Makes you look like you've been punched in the eye. Mm, so you have to be careful with those colors. Oh. For our center shade for this halo eye, we're going to go in with Guilt Trip right here, this purple. It's in the same position, trust me. Literally, mm -hmm. this palette is like legit, and I'm going to use my finger. What she said. And I'm going to use my finger because fingers, I don't know, for some reason, they're like the best tool for makeup sometimes. Yeah, especially when you're trying to cover up a pimple, you tap it with your finger, okay? You like you tap, 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 tap. You don't do a booty blender. You can do a brush, but best is your finger because it takes less of the product off. And then you just uh, go around and around. You know what? We'll have a tutorial on how to cover up those pimples. And remember to wash your hands before you do that. <laughs> Obviously. We don't want more pimples. You don't want any more pimps in your life. And obviously, I just place the color right in the center of my eye. And then I'll blend it out with um, 
the shade that we created this purple on the outer and then go over with our transition color just to make it a little more cohesive mm. and as you can see this is finger and this is legit no fix plus no nothing no setting spray nothing and I, have, I don't have a brush to, i mean i have a brush to do it but i don't want to and it looks the same it's finger looking mm. good see pretty similar it's the same just the same it's we look the same, the same palette. now we it's look the, the same, same palette all, all right. right what are we using for the inner corner are we gonna do that later no we'll do that later okay okay now we're so gonna, we're gonna face? that out <laughs> Face. All right, so now we're moving on to the face, and this will shock you. Okay, one of them is sixty-five dollars, the other one is eleven ninety-nine. So, do you want to see the reveal? Sixty-five dollars at a whopping sixty-five American dollars. Okay, is the Pat McGrath um, skin fetish. And this is $65, you guys. And I am in the shade medium 15. I know. Presenting. For the eleven ninety nine, The Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. You're messing up your video. So good. All right, ready? There we go. The Dream... Urban, Urban cover, cover by Maybelline. By Maybelline. And what shade are you Maybelline. in? Maybelline. And I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Mm -hmm. Or at least that's what I believe. You know, I'm blind. So, we're going to put these two to the test. This is actually pretty good coverage for mm -hmm. a drugstore. Um, and hers has actual SPF in it. Mine doesn't. Yeah. Thank Aww. you, Auntie Pat. <laughs> can't be mad at Pat McGrath. If you're looking for full coverage from Matt, Pat McGrath, it's not really full coverage. It's more on the natural, dewy, not matte at all um, side. But, I mean, you can build it up. I'm pretty sure if you use a brush, it applies better. But I'm not really a brush person. All right, guys. So this is actually a pretty good coverage. I mean, you could still see my skin. But it does kind of cover the things that I wanted to cover. Um, ignore that little pimple right there. He can't be covered. Okay, he can't. So. I'm going to cover up this big pimple right here. Right there. <laughs> and I'm going to take a little bit onto my finger. Tap it there. And then slowly distribute the product around. And keep the most full coverage here where the pimple is. And then, since the edges aren't blended out... I'm going to go in with my trusty little beauty sponge and just blend it around because you want to cover the pimple and you don't want to lose that coverage if you use your beauty blender to blend it out. I'm going to keep blending. Are we ready for concealer? Yep. Alrighty. So. Next up on our list, I mean, we already told you. It's concealer. Concealer. Woo! So, Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to go in with the Infallible Full Wear in the shade Cashew on my right side, which is your left side. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16-hour Camel Concealer and Medium Beige on my left side, which is your right side. Okay. And here we go. Mm -hmm. And since these are my sisters, I won't be putting them directly on my eye. We're not trying to spread germs here. Ding, ding, ding. I am clean. I'm still blending. I had Years a whole later. falcon on my... <laughs> Years later, I'm still sitting here. I'm like... I had, I had a falcon on my... Jesus, I haven't done a full face in... No, I don't know. I feel like did. a different person. I mean, I do makeup on a daily, but I just don't. Like, I don't do a full glam beat every day. Although I wish I could. Yeah. Make the world my runway. I mean, obviously, it feels like I do because it takes me a while, but I'm like, it's just morning. All right, so we're going to contour, right? We're going to cream contour. Yes. And um, the dupes we came up with, probably not the closest, but I mean, they're dupes, obviously, for a reason. 
Um, so I have here the uh, Fenty Beauty Matchstick. You can see it. There you go in the shade uh, Truffle. And I'm gonna go in with my trusty and dusty and crusty LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautifully Bronze. Yay! It focused. Cool. And so we're just gonna put that where we usually put it. Where I we usually here. put it? <laughs> Which is here. Well, she usually does the three where you go one, two, and three. I like we're going full glam. You might as well show them what we do. One. I mean, if you saw our last video like two months ago. <laughs> Jesus, what happened to this? <laughs> go. I mean, I usually just do here and here and blend it out and I'm good. And then I do nose contour too. No, let's go the full nine, I guess. I like, might as well full glam. We're doing this, sister. I gotta tell you that this LA girl blends out like a dream. Mm. And you just have to touch it a couple times and it blends in. It's like your skin, but better. Yeah. I wish my skin was bronzed in a three, but it just bronzed on my forehead. <laughs> All in the right places. And a little more on my forehead. <laughs> Make it a three head? I wish. God bless me with this big forehead. It's because you have a big brain. I wish. <laughs> right now my brain is dead. Well, I I have go to school. I'm like, I have an algorithms class. I have a midterm on Tuesday. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you know what? It Life is, is about winging it. it. I'm like, it is what it is. It'll be what it'll be. I mean, as you can see, it pretty much did the same is what's going on on her face. Yep. Just bronze me up. It's not really like a harsh contour. I'm just blending. You want to kind of pat your little, your beauty blender in just to make it more soft and more cohesive with your face so it looks like skin and not just like really harsh contour lines. So this is what we have so far, you guys. Closer. Yeah. See? So pretty much the same. Nothing different. And then now for powder, we're gonna put this to the test. We don't know if this is actually a dupe, but we're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try. I mean, there's no harm in trying, you guys. So in today's video, I will be using the Pat McGrath powder. If it focus, no. She's shiny, so there you go. This is a Pat McGrath, and I'm using the light medium two shade. And I will be going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And it's musty, dusty, and crusty and no longer has a label on it. I'm sorry, and but... Oh, my little crease is here and we're gonna mm. apply some powder. Let's see, I don't know what brush to use. I, I'm usually just gonna go in with whatever is left on the lid and do that underneath my eyes. Just because I don't want them to be too set because then they start creasing like crazy. Yeah. And um, I don't like that look. I, like. Mm. I must set, I have to set my T-zone. I'm only oily here, up here, like a little bit on my forehead and just my nose is very oily. The rest of my skin is either dry or normal. And if you can see, the powder is actually pretty nice. So Cute. now we're gonna go and bronze our skin. So we have the perfect dupe actually, and it smells the same. It's delicious. It smells the same. It's a quarter of the price. It works the same. I can't open mine because mine is broken to, it's to dust at this point. You can, if you can hear that, but that's why it's broke. It's broken. I use it a lot. So what I was talking about is this uh, Marc Jacobs. Mark Jacobs, and this is the Tantastic Bronzer. It's a classic. And sister, drum roll, please. And I'm gonna be using the Milani Silky Matte Sun Kiss Bronzing Powder in the shade Sun Kissed or Two. Yep, and literally the same. It smells the same. That is like $7.99. This was like $49.99. <laughs> so yeah. I would totally recommend. All right, since I'm lazy and I don't want to clean a lot of brush. I kid you not, it's like 
do they make these in the same factory? It's insane. Probably do. I'm like, obviously, this one, I mean, the Tantastic one is not new, new anymore. The Milani one is, it just came out a couple months ago. And so far, I like it. I can't deny it. I like it. So excited. And I'm going to try to do a nose contour. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So for blush today, we have somewhat of a dupe. It's not a dupe dupe, but it's a dupe. Like literally you'll get the same color, the same effect, same everything. Mine is not as expensive, but it's on the expensive side for blush. Mm -hmm. And mine is the Alamar Cosmetics. You can, there you go. And this is in the Colorette Brushed Blush Trio in medium tan. And I will be using my trusty and dusty NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette in the shade Sweet Cheeks. So it's this one right here. And it has similar shades. Obviously, the NYX one has more shades than mine. Yeah. But we'll be using these. I mean, this is supposed to last for two years. I hope I've had it for two years. <laughs> <laughs> for our next step, we will be going with highlighter dupes. And this is pretty interesting. One of them is quite expensive. It's back on the Anastasia website. The other one, it's a classic. So. Mine will be the Amrezi and Anastasia collection. And this is the beautiful gold one second. Look at that, that's beautiful. A little wavy gold. And I will be using my sister's Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. No. There you go. Yep. I mean, this one isn't as wavy, but it does have geometric shapes in there. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little. I'm going to be using the same brush. <laughs> and start dusting it on your highest points of your cheeks. Just kidding. And now I think our last step is lips. Well, technically it's mascara and then lips, right? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about mascara. Well, you have eyelash extensions. I have eyelash extensions, Boy. so I will not be using mascara on the upper side, but I will... I can do lower lash mascara. So, we'll be comparing the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little, I'm pretty sure you, there you go. Um, and we're going to also be and comparing it to. I will be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. So hopefully you can see it. Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing it on both upper and lower lash line we're good alrighty guys we're back and we're ready for the final step which is lips I have no lips but you know I was blessed with too many <laughs> well I don't have a lip liner just because I decided not to but I would use the NYX um, lip liners they're really good especially the roll-up ones very pigmented very nice <laughs> So for a nude color, I will be mixing the um, Fenty Beauty in Unbutton and the Anastasia in Ashton liquid lipstick just to make a nude and oops, <laughs> just to make her perfect nude. Just to make a nude that'll go with this crazy look because I mean there's no way. And you don't need both of these, by the way. My sister's going to show you what she uses. Yeah, so I just went in with the ColourPop Sugar Scrub from the um, Sunshine Collection. It's because my lips were so chapped. And I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. My favorite. And for gloss, I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Prague. With my gloss, which is a Tokyo Milk. The packaging is pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite... Uh, no. Focus. Camera does not want to focus. So, Hi. we're back. 
and we're done. We're finished. We've completed these looks. Hers with the bougie side and me with balling on a budget. And if you can see our skin. Pretty much the same. Looks the same. Same highlighter. Same color. Just go on. Don't show them your face. <laughs> Literally, like there's no difference. Like what? There is no difference. Except for the actual face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, we have different faces. But you could definitely be Re bad and bougie or bald on budget. And still and bad and bougie. Yeah, and still be the same. Nobody has to, nobody has to know yeah. what your price point is. No one's going to know. I mean, you could be a billionaire and be buying these bald on a budget. And it wouldn't change a thing. Mm -mm. It performs the same. Can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let us know. And also comment down below and let us know what other videos you would like to watch. And as always, remember to... Like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.